So, we're in the jungle. Welcome, fans. We're in Brunei. And we're in the jungle. And we're going to try and climb Bukit Taraja. Yeah, even though I'm getting eaten alive. Already getting eaten alive. Because we want to see what it's like in terms of mountain biking. Could this be a good mountain biking hill? We Let's have got to find, find out. out. Two hours later. This is the top of the road. And this goes on, I guess, to the mast. And I think it does go off trail again, but we're not going to do that with Harris. But here, this ridge line, you can see here running up the start of the trail. So you'd have to cycle up here. And lift your bike up here to get onto the trail. I'll start filming this as a downhill now and see what it's like. So we're going to go back up the ridge and start working our way down. Back to the car. So you come off the road and you'd have to cycle along this trail, which is fairly rideable I would say. Lots of leaves down but and twigs but nothing you can't get past until you hit the odd branch like this. Obviously you just get off and mosey on through them and get back pedalling. So this first initial stage is really quite rideable and doable I would say. And we'll see what's what as we go. And then this is the first little bit of uh, how am I going to get through that. So you probably have to get off and push through here. And yeah, just manhandle your bikes around this little bit here. But it's very short lived, as you can see, and it's not unpassable. Okay, so here's the first, here's well, here's another obstacle, obstacle which. Yeah, you're not going to ride over, but you're not going to not get a bike over. Just lift it and run it through. So, and this is where the down really starts. So, there's actually a trail that goes up there, and I'm not about to go up there today. Harris, two thumbs up. One thumb up. Right, so I'll that. I'll two thumbs up because I got mine. Yeah. Wait, no, I'll do two thumbs up. So that's the trail up there that we're not going to go. That we're going to carve down to the left here and start heading downhill towards uh, the car. The the road. So I'm going to look at this from a biking point of view. So this is this is steep, but Careful. easily rideable. No steeper than anything you you'd see in the. Uh, anything we ride at the moment. So around this tree and then a good straight line down here. So this part is definitely not... You couldn't ride over this if you want. You couldn't ride over this and you would have to get off and we'd have to manhandle our bikes over this. But it's not... It's not like... Come on, you go. It's not like you wouldn't get a bike through. We're back on the trail. All rideable. Are you alright, Dad? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for asking me. More ticker tape tells we're on the right trail, on the right track. This is all rideable on a bike for sure. Still going. Sorry? We're still going though. Then 
Nice bit of downhill. That's going to be really fun if you're professional. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This is all good. Good trail. The biggest hazard we've seen where your front wheel's going to go. There's no nasty, nasty drops. No, uh, Yeah, okay, and then here, I guess, yeah, you'd have to get off. Down, down, down. Let's see, Harris. All rideable. Maybe not this step, but... Um, it just depends how good a ride you are, but I mean, this is lumpy bumpy. It's pretty rooty, this stuff. Maybe not this. Maybe, you know. Certainly from this point on, this is all good. Go on, H. I'm going to take the tape, keep you on the straight and narrow. Now this is leading the way. Following the tips, doing a good job. So the trail used to go this way, but clearly there's been some trees down. Thank you. So this would be the first major problem obstacle you that you'd have to. Stop and look anybody cycling would have to negotiate with a bike. This is the first one where you're like, oh, what am I going to do here? Um, oh, so, negotiated the stream. Now, we need to walk through yeah. this section here, which is not great, I'll be honest. We won't be, be pushing our bikes through this. But it's because it's a workaround from the main trail because of that landslide. Um, again, back out. It's a really nice cross country trail. So, watch. Yep, that's it. There you go. So Harris is really enjoying walking down, aren't you Harris? Yeah. Compared to walking up, he wasn't enjoying walking up at all. But walking down he's hunky dory. Oh. Steve Irwin here. What have you seen Harris? Watching us run across the road. Okay. Keep making lots of noise. The worst thing you can do is be quiet. Oh. I think I got no. it. Okay, right, let's go. <sighs> Come on, H. Might have been a porcupine. I don't think it was a porcupine. It was a squirrel. A squirrel? Maybe. Okay, rideable. Got trial skills here. A bit here, but there's another pink ticker tape to tell us we're on the right trail. This is doable. Okay, tree stump, probably not going to get over that, but you might be able to ride around the side of it to be honest. Easy. It's getting noisier as you get down to the bottom, isn't it, Harris? Why? This is all good trail. Look at that bit. Is this 
just the other bit where it was a bit sticky about which way to go. Yeah, down through there, that was the other bit. So this is the other main section where you have to, you have to like sort of angle and dangle bikes through. But like there's only a couple of these, really. Surely not enough to put off the intrepid explorer. There's another pink tipper tape. It's funny, just as you think you're gonna hear lost, you get a pink ticker tape. We're towards the end now, so this is a big one Harris quick jump. The trunk, which yeah, nobody's cycling over unless you're down in the casco. A bit of pedaling required here. And back up this ridge here. 20. Yeah, but close. Pedaling up this big ridge. And down the other side, and then up. Oh, there's these bottles, these pits again, isn't it? Like bear traps. Maybe they are. Oh, what they are. Anyway, this looks really sweet cycle down. Really nice. Another good positive thing to note is we've always, I think the mast at the top of this hill is a mobile phone mast, so believe it or not, even though we're in the dense jungle, we've always had a mobile phone signal. Which is pretty good. If it means should the worst happen, you can always phone. Phone a friend. All rideable, all rideable. Definitely all rideable. Dying. Oh, no. Thread the needle through the trees. Oh. This, like this, this would be brilliant to come down. Dad, I cut a cut right next to my cut. Cut a cut, cut's good. This would be brilliant to come down, really good fun. Down. This is like a real like nice cool sort of stuff. I want some good. Yeah. Scent. Very readable. Very, very rideable. Techy, tech and challenging. Right? Straight down. All right, let's go. All rideable. All rideable. You're gonna get bored of me saying all rideable. So this is right near the spot. Come on. Get your feet wet. Oh. 
Well, you tried, I suppose. I can see the end. Look, well, you can see clear sky. That means you're at the end of the jungle. So there's the end. I think my feet are full now. Still you stop. Still yeah, you stop. Still stop. Look, here's the tin roof. Yeah. Here's the tin roof. And we are out. Wow. Watch out because that's a road. Wow. Thank you, Vaughan. What did you make of that, Harris? Really. Really what? Good? Tough? Hard work? Tough, hard work. Money. Back on the road. Wow. Come on, Harris, let's walk back to the car. So, how would I describe that? Uh, is it rideable? Yes. 100% no, it's not 100% rideable. 50%. But mm, at least a, well, at least 85 to 95, 85 to 90% of it is rideable. And the bits that aren't rideable, you could definitely Lift your, bike over. lift your bike over. So there's nothing like where you can't get a bike through. Is it worthwhile? There's some pretty sweet looking trail. Pretty challenging looking, Harris, off the road, off the road into the side. Pretty challenging looking. So. Yeah. Maybe it's worth giving it a look. Coming back. Definitely be for the mountain biker that isn't going to moan um, for somebody that's up for a challenge. It's not all laid bare for you. But I think you can ride 85, 85 to 90% of it and it's pretty difficult to get lost. The trail's pretty well marked. So, worth a bash in my book.